Welcome to Excel Campus. My name is John, and in this video, I'm going to show you how to unpivot your data using Power Query. So in this example here, I have this inventory stock sheet on the left side, and I basically want to transform it into this table over here to then use as a source of a pivot table. And this process is called unpivoting or normalizing your data. And basically what we're going to do is take all of these cells here that contain quantity values and put them into one column over here called quantity. We're also going to take these headers here that contain product names and put those into one column as well. So if you're not familiar with this process, I have an entire article that describes it in more detail, and I'll put a link below the video. So fortunately, Power Query makes this process really simple. I'm going to show you how it works. So here I just have uh, an example workbook that only contains our inventory stock sheet, and we're going to transform it into that table. So the first thing I'm going to do is insert an Excel table here for our data. So I'm going to insert tab on the ribbon, hit the table button, and click OK. And that's just going to turn this into an Excel table. You could rename the table here and uh, you could also turn off this formatting so it looks a little cleaner. And now we're gonna go to the Power Query tab on the ribbon and click the From Table button. And that's gonna open up the Query Editor window and load in a preview of our data from that table. And Power Query has this great button on the Transform tab of the ribbon here called Unpivot Columns. So basically all we need to do is select the columns that we wanna unpivot. So I'm gonna select the Apples column then I'm going to hold down the shift key on the keyboard and left click the T column. That'll select all these columns here that we want to unpivot. And then I'm just going to hit the unpivot columns button. That'll automatically transform our data into this unpivoted or add these unpivoted columns. So it's added this attribute column here that just lists all the column headers from our original data. And then it's added a value column here that lists all the values, the quantity values that were in those cells. And it's important to note that a Power Query is not actually modifying our original data source. So if I move the Query Editor window over here, you can see that our original data source is still intact. Nothing's changed here. We're just making these transformations in the Query Editor window, and then we'll create a new table in our workbook that uh, contains this, this new data. And the other thing to note is that Power Query automatically removes all the blank cells for you. So you'll notice here, again, in our original source data, there's some blank cells here. And if I go into the Power Query editor, I can also step back to our source step, and you'll see all these blank cells. They just rename it to null here. So these are these blank cells. And Power Query automatically deletes all those uh, cells or rows for you in the unpivoted uh, column. So you won't see any of those blanks there. There, which is a really nice feature as well. It allows you to clean up your data uh, all in that one single step. So after you hit the unpivot columns button, the next thing you'll probably want to do is rename this column header here because it'll always be named attribute. If you just double click on it, you can rename it. We're going to call it product, hit enter, and then same with the value column. This will always be named value. You might want to call it something a little more descriptive, like in this case we'll call it quantity. And now we have our table that's ready to be output into our workbook. So we're just going to go to the Home tab on the ribbon and click the Close and Load button. And what that's going to do is it's going to add a new worksheet to our workbook here and load the table into this new worksheet. So now here's our unpivoted table based on this, this uh, original inventory stock sheet in Sheet 1 here. The other really nice feature about using Power Query for this is it helps automate your process. So if you're adding new rows to this table as you place new orders, I'm just going to copy and paste a new row to the table here. That row will automatically be added to the table. You can see that with that little blue icon there. And I'm just going to add a value in here that's going to kind of stick out. So as we add rows here to our worksheet, if we go back over to Sheet 2, all we have to do is refresh this table or this query, and you can do that by clicking this refresh button right here. You can also right click anywhere in the table and click refresh, and that's automatically going to run that query again, refresh our table, and add that new row of data right here uh, to the bottom of the table. And that works as you add new columns as well. So if you had a new product, let's say you're ordering a new product, we'll put a new column for that product, and we'll just uh, put a value in here for that. Go over to Sheet 2, just right click and refresh. And right there we have a new row for that new column with the product and the quantity right there. So it makes it really nice and easy 
to just create a system, basically an automated system for creating this table that you can then use for a pivot table. And if you have a pivot table linked to this table here, then all you need to do is refresh that pivot table and all of your reports and charts and dashboards will automatically be refreshed and updated with just a few clicks. So that was a really simple example of how to unpivot your data with Power Query, but I'm guessing your data is in a much more complex format than that. Uh, typically we get data that's exported from some kind of reporting system that looks something more like this, and it'll take a few additional steps to unpivot it in Power Query, but Power Query can still handle all of that stuff. And so I wanna help you unpivot your data. So you can upload your sample file to excelcampus.com slash ask and you can upload a sample file of your raw data there and I'll create a video like this that'll help us unpivot it and uh, we can also share it and then everyone else can learn from it as well. So go ahead and upload your file there and uh, we'll get it unpivoted. And please don't forget to subscribe to my free email newsletter where you can get more tips and tricks like this and also leave a comment below with any questions. Thanks again for watching and I'll see you soon.